everybody, I am Jeanette and I have a company called Powered From Within and I'm going to be doing your workout number four, bums and tums, also known as glutes and core, workout with you today. So we've got a lovely range of exercises that we're going to go through together. Let's get this done. So to start off with, we have got your box because we're going to be doing a glute hip bridge. So we're going to use that for a little bit of extra elevation. So nice neutral back on the floor. Feet hip width apart. You're going to breathe in. Exhale all the way up. You are allowed to squeeze your bum in this one and engage your deep core muscles. Breathe in. Exhale up. Breathe in. Staying in one lovely connected line. Okay. So remember, squeeze your bum at the top. Breathe in. Drive through the heels. Squeeze bum. Next up, we have a V-sit crunch. So you're going to be sat on it this time. You're going to use the handlebars to help keep you stable. So with this one, it's very easy to start doing this. Remember, we are tall and elegant peeps. So our knees start here. You've got to breathe in, exhale in. Breathe in, exhale. So as you can see, you can use the handlebars to help stabilize a little. All of that I've done, I've now talked and done it incorrectly. So you're going to breathe in here. So remember to keep everything engaged, shoulders back and down, and keep the feet elevated. Now, if you want to make this slightly easier, what we can do is, and then tap down and rest quickly. Tap down and rest, okay? So just take it at your pace. It is quite an advanced one anyway, so make it easier by just giving yourself a slightly little break in between. And then next up, we are gonna need to these guys. So you're gonna have to put these on before we start the workout. We are then going to attach our resistance band very quickly. We've got 30 seconds to do this, remember people, when we're actually working out. So we've got to be swift and nimble. Then we are going to be using the weight gym to add that stability. Now we're going to be doing donkey kicks. So we want that lovely, nice, neutral position. Wrists underneath armpits, knees under hips, okay? So make sure that the bands are on the outside edge so that it's not crossing over and twisting. Now, we are going to drive up with our feet. We are going to keep our back nice and strong, not saggy, okay? So breathe in here, nice and relaxed. Exhale up. So we're driving up with our feet. So this is what we're going to want to do, but we are going to alternate. So we are challenging our balance. Breathe in nice core engagement and we're trying to drive straight up to the ceiling keeping in line with our pelvis as we go okay so that's that one then we have got your plank glute kickbacks now the full version of this is the most advanced so you're in a plank exhale lift breathe in exhale lift okay now the slightly easier version modification breathe in so again like we had to with our glute kit backs we've got to keep our back nice and still and one thing I'm always reminding my girls is not to let their hips twist from side to side or start to sag in the middle okay and then if you need to you can break this down even further by extending tapping on the floor and then lifting okay so just take it at your pace or you can do the full plank. All right, then we have got your scissor kicks. So this is where we've got to be clever and untwist. So we're gonna have to quickly undo them because we're gonna go on our bums now and it's not gonna work quite as well. So we then undo these ones quickly, quickly. And then we've got to reattach them on the other side because we're gonna be here now. So quick, quick, quick. We've got 30 seconds guys, so. Okay, so we've got scissor kicks now. So because we are going full extension, take off the stronger one, but keep on your slightly less tight resistance burn. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very hard, especially for those of you that are even taller than me. Well, I'm not tall, I'm short. So we are going to be full extensions here. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. So exhale, engage that core. Keep it all focused down low. So these 
are your scissor kicks. Now, if you are feeling game, by all means, put one of the stronger ones off and take your lightest one off. But engage the core, breathe in. Okay, now our next move, very similar, but targets things slightly diff differently, are your flutter kicks. So again, we're nice and extended, but we're out wide, still engaging down here. So it's also working the inside of our legs. Breathe in. So remember, activate the pelvic floor, activate the TAs, and don't grip with the upper abdominals. Okay, it's so all down low. So those are your scissor kicks and your flutter kicks. Then we have got your lying knee extensions. So again, we're lying down on the floor with our head on the box. We're going to be at 90 degrees with our knees. So from here, nice deep relaxed breath in. Exhale, push in. Breathe in. Now, the beauty of the weight gym is if you're thinking halfway through one set, this is too easy. <laughs> what we got attached to? Another resistance band. So if you're feeling game, right, I'm going to try this. Let's see how much harder this gets. And then all of a sudden you go, oh, that's a bit different. Breathe in. So starting off at 90 degrees. Breathe in. Exhale. So that is your lying knee extensions, okay? So now, We've got your leg raises, okay? So we're gonna do one at a time. Breathe in, exhale. So I prefer to do this with a bent foot. It just gives you that little bit more control. And then the idea is that you see if you can get as close to a nice right angle with your feet and your body. Breathing in on the way up. Exhaling on the way down. So again, play with the resistance and that's how you guys can tailor it to where you're at. Okay? We'll get going with the workout now, guys. <laughs> 